Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, as you can see, I got my Games Workshop shipment in, and the main part of it is um, the Space Wolf stuff. I got the Codex, the Space Wolf um, pack, and uh, the Space Wolves Wolf Guard Terminators. And um, while I'm not playing Space Wolf itself, so I'm not going to paint these guys up with Space Wolf colors, um, well, only partially, and what I mean by that is <laughs> my Chaos Elves and Sun's Army, which is still in pieces. I guess only got like three models painted, one of them fully. Paint with three, them, three models painted fully, one of them being a Lamb Raider. <laughs> um, it's going to have, I'm going to use some of these bits, <clears throat> especially the Wolf Head, which you can use to represent a Wolf Priest, pretty cool, paint up in bone colors, but anyway, I still think it's silly. I'm going to use that and other pieces here to represent um, trophies and just um, basing material for my Thousand Suns army to represent them fighting the Space Wolves or something like that, obviously. But anyway, I'm going to use also like the more Space Wolf bits for my Smoke Jaguars chapter, which is Clan Smoke Jaguar from Battletech, but put into the 40k fighting for the Imperium, so they're loyalists. Um, they're going to be a more warrior like group so kind of like a warrior like culture it's not quite vikings not vikings at all but the ruinic stuff will still fit in pretty well for them and um so that's what some of those bits are going to go for the terminators in that i'm also going to use some of the terminator bits for um deathwing a couple will even fit well with some minor conversion like smiling certain parts down or clipping off uh, tail trophies but yeah <clears throat> you can also use it for um, bits for other armies. Uh, they fit in pretty well. And uh, if you're a Space Wolf player, you're going to love these these bits, I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they can't please everybody, so somebody's going to complain, but they're great looking. I mean, I, I'm impressed with them. I mean, they, they did. I knew they were their plastic was getting better when the Dark Angels robe stuff came out. So, this, But now with all these wolf pelts and stuff, it's looking very nice. Um, so that's that. I'm a little bit of a ramble now. Unit in Death Inquisitor is going pretty well. Parts 1 and 2 are up. Part 3, like I said, will be the war gear for Inquisitors, like Inquisitor specific war gear items. <clears throat> and uh, then after that will be the henchmen slash retinue, which are the same thing. Which may have to be it's two separate videos one for Demon Hunters, one for Witch Hunters, depending on how it goes. But, um,. And then after that will be the conclusion video. So that should hopefully get done during the week. <clears throat> which will leave me time to, um... Which will leave the weekend open for starting Codex and Depth Space Wolves. I'm going to do it a little differently than the other Codex and Depths. And I'll explain that in the introduction video of Codex and Depth Space Wolves when, when we get around to it. Or when I get around to it, I should say. And, um... Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, as I said, I'm making two army lists with the Space of Codex. Clan Smoke Jaguar which I showed you to test model for that already. And I got some new basing materials, so when I, when I do do another a second model for them, which is probably going to be a Terminator, um, I'll make the jungle base for them. To, I guess that's hopefully, that should hopefully make it more jungle-like. And um, with that, I should be able to show you a more jungle-like base for, the, for basing. And then, as, you know, and then the model on top of it later. <coughs> But on a Clan Smoke Jaguar, a lot of Smoke Jaguars are going to refer to their chapter master as the Khan, <coughs> or the Great Khan, and then the company captains as Khan, or the company lords the Khan, I should say, and then the Emperor as the Il Khan, just for fluff wise, but um, yeah, which is more like the battle text of calling it the, the Khan. Anyway, and they're going to be a small army. It's going to be kind of silly. Not kind of like my friend's idea, but similar enough. I'm going to have many HQs, probably a bunch of wolf lore, uh, lone wolves, um, and many HQs, and then fill it in with great hunters and blood claws, and just all around make it a very hard hitting, like, surgical strike force. So it'll be very small, which will be a strength and a weakness, but uh, probably just be very fun to play and pick up games. Obviously, if I play against uh, a tournament style themed army, if I play against one of those, and then get, like, howls probably, but, um, or hosed, or whatever term you want to use. But hopefully, it should still have some potential. Uh, hopefully, it should do well. It shouldn't just fail miserably. It may even be kind of, kind of strong. 
But um, the other list is, of course, like I said, Iron Hands. At least I think I said that already. Um, and that's going to be more competitive on because I'm going to build it fluffy, but meaning Terminators attached to certain squads, but I'm hopefully going to make it try and be kind of competitive. It's not going to be the most competitive. I'm not going to use like the glaringly obvious units for that, but that doesn't matter. We'll get to that as I come to it. I just wanted to put that out there. Also, a little ramble I want to say is Yes, the Codex came out. It's got a cool little cover. It goes into more of the fluff, like every like all new codices do. It's got a cool modeling section, showing all the models painted up. It's got, you know, the special rules in it, artwork, whatever. It's not a win condition. People, I think, are forgetting that. I don't know why with all... I think maybe because it's, it's been a while since the Space Wolves had a Codex you can actually buy. That they're getting so much awe and hate... And hate so much love and hate, but um, it's not a win condition. I mean, Peel Guard Codex, not a win condition. Even though I want our boys, doesn't mean anybody who picks it up is not going to start winning game. I mean, technically, yeah, if it fits your style, play better, you're going to probably play better than with it, have better tactics with it, and then you win more games. But you're not, it doesn't mean you pick it up and boom, you're going to win. Um, hell, you can pick up a Tyranny Codex, which a lot of people are saying getting weaker and weaker, but it's coming out soon. Anyway, um, you can pick up Dark Angels, which is, I think, a very strong, very balanced list, and do better with it. But it's still not a win condition. The Chaos Spatial Codex not a win condition. So uh, a lot of people are saying, oh my god, Space Wolves, best things in the slide spread. No reason to play in the list. And a lot of people say, oh my god, Space Wolves, broken, too powerful, what the hell is Game Workshop thinking? And both people are being overreacting and need to, you know, cool down and chill out. Uh, I was just reading a, a blog post um, about a Dark Angels Codex army using Deathwing from Dark Angels um, playing against a Space Wolves army well, an army using the Space Wolves rules and um, in Annihilation and destroyed the Space Wolves completely so, which of course makes me grin on the inside because I'm a Dark Angel at heart and the Dark Angel and Space Wolves have a rivalry as well but aside from that it just goes to show you a codex, Dark Angels, which many people think is weak and not worth playing, um, went up against and won against the Space of Codex. Some people, the codex that a lot of people are screaming it's too strong or the greatest thing ever. Now, yes, the Space Wolves are at a disadvantage because it is a new codex and I don't have enough time to truly understand it. At the same time, I think a lot of players are going to be like that, though. A lot, of the, a lot of people just jump on the Space Wolf bandwagon or jump on the new Codex bandwagon. Um, and what I mean is, I don't mean to rant or harp or anything. But I think it is a cool Codex, but it's not a win condition. No Codex is a win condition. What people forget are forgetting with this release is that your play experience matters, your army list matters, your tactics for the army matter. Like if you build a shooty list and you want to play very salty, you're going to have a little bit of a problem. It's not going to work the best. But um, you get my point. Um, knowing how to knowing the generic 40 key rules for all things like the, the, the generic special rules like fearless, stubborn, and furious charge know how they work, know how the generic turn the game works itself for the turn base like the rules of playing the game in general um, knowing the terrain like I said, knowing how to move your units through the terrain, knowing what your opponent not knowing what your opponent's going to feel but when you play against an opponent knowing what they, their ability is like you know the uh Elder Codex can be fast, the Dark Elder Codex can be fast, and then the Arc Codex is very salty oriented, stuff like that. So yeah, that's my little ramble there. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, there's no reason to panic about the Space of Codex. It's shiny, it's got the shiny bug right now. It's shiny, it's new, people want to look at it, people want to play it. Once the shininess factor wears off, I think there'll be more or less a balance again of lists out there. So. This is not the end of the world as far as, you know, war gaming goes with 40k. It's just another new codex. Chances are when the Terminator codex comes out, people are going to be all in arms for or against it just as much as they were the Space Wolves. Um, so, it's just the way that things go with no new codices. But anyway, um, if you're a Space Wolf fan, definitely you have to get the Space Wolf codex and definitely pick up the new box sets. They're pretty cool. Um, so, until next time, take it easy.